Okay, thirty-eight thousand on plus that car. 42, plus forty-two thousand five hundred. Plus, you said fifty thousand, but how about forty-nine six hundred and ninety-six dollars? Why? Because forty-nine six plus forine six nine six. That's one hundred and thirty thousand one hundred and ninety-six dollars for all three cars. I'm gonna get a Freddy sandwich. You can have a Freddy's frozen custard and steak burger and a Motor Trend subscription to, to car I will issues. definitely have right. that. You have a deal. Welcome to Hoovy's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And today is my own version of a Black Friday event because I am buying three Hoopty exotics for a very cheap price from my friend Rob Santori, who is the organizer of the local cars and coffee, because he found a great deal on a new GT500, which is coincidental because the same reason why I got the 66 GT350 is because the previous owner uh, wanted a new GT500. So he's selling me one car that I've been after for years. I've been begging him to sell it to me, and that is a 1974 Porsche 911 Carrera 2.7 with a really cool story and racing history and a bonkers engine in it. Also purchasing a Aston Martin DB9. He needs to sell all three to pay for his car, so I'm, I'm there to buy him. And a Ferrari 348 Spider that he's only owned for a few days. And that's the funny part because this car Rob bought, uh, he wasn't sure if he wanted it. And he actually told my friend Urination Bob about it and he was super excited to buy it, but then he decided to buy it for himself. And Bob was kind of sad and really wanted first right of refusal uh, if he was going to sell that car. And instead I've convinced Rob to sell it to me kind of as a prank and uh, Bob doesn't know that we're actually going to let him buy it. So he's gonna tag along with me on this trip to buy these cars. I obviously don't need one because I have the 348 and a 456 and another Ferrari I'm potentially purchasing. Uh, so we'll surprise him with that, but let's see how good of a sport he is in the interim because we're gonna pick him up as we go buy the cars right now. But before we hit the road, which we are leaving right now, I wanna let you know that season two of Car Issues is live on Motor Trend Plus right now. And it is a full out hoopty show. If you guys think I've kind of sold out and got all these exotics, the show is 10 episodes of pure hooptiness and a special offer for Motor Trend Plus. If you click the link below, it's only 99 cents a month for six months. So you can catch all 10 of the new episodes, all of my old episodes, old episodes of Top Gear, lots of great stuff. Six months for only 99 cents a month. Click below, here's a preview. After the preview, we'll hit the road and pick up Urination Bob. My name's Tyler Hoover and this is Car Issues. Car Issues takes a problem car and puts it to the test. Finding a car that's sort of neglected. That's a pretty good drip there. And bringing it up to the next level. Or kicking it to the curb if it's too far gone. So you have some detective work to do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Two cars, Frankenstein back together. Why do I want this thing? Oh, it's terrifying and fun at the same time. Car Issues, streaming now only on Motor Trend Plus. There he is. Man, that is a rig, Bob. Is that your latest prize? Yeah, maybe. 99 DeVille. Old man special, 69,000 miles. 69,000 miles, nice. No, you can't have it. Hop in. I can't have it? You can't have it. Why not? Because I, I like it a lot. <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay. Well, thanks for tagging along. Oh, no worries. So you've seen Rob's Porsche before yes. and the DB9. Yes. Have you seen the 348? Just pictures. I saw the 348 once at a car show. Oh, yeah. It seems like a pretty solid car. Well, I know. I wanted to buy it. <laughs> well, he needed cash now. He went up. Uh, JG Wentworth or what? <laughs> I guess so. I guess I am JG. He was buying a GT500. He just popped up today. I told he him searching. I had a check for it. Oh, you don't want me getting into that. <sighs> well, I mean... <laughs> It's all three. I've been after that Porsche for years. And uh, another 348, I mean. You don't need another 348. Well, that one, you can put the top down. <laughs> Here comes all of the, the rationalization it's, of, it's a, uh, of a junkie. It's different. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and justify it, you junkie. This was the only opportunity price wise that I could right. get it at this price. And then it's going to be out of my reach. Because the, the only thing I can afford is something that's kind of a little bit of a project, a little bit needy. And I uh, gotta get it a good price because I'm not just the guy to go out and <laughs> buy a sorted Ferrari. <laughs> so you're mad, but you're coming along anyway. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, you're you not know. gonna hit Rob, are you? No, no. Okay. I might hit you, though. <laughs> oh, Bob. <laughs> it, it is a little nicer than I remember. Wow. Hey, Rob. 
Tyler, how are you? I'm pretty good. Uh, good to see you. I guess you couldn't line them all uh, up, huh? Hi, Bob. Hey, Rob. Nice <laughs> to meet you. I can explain. <laughs> I can explain. Um, so I'm assuming this one wouldn't start on its own? No, it didn't start. Okay, we'll try and jump it off, but uh, this is the one I've been after for a very long time, and you've owned it for how long? 20 years. It is a 1974 911 2.7 Carrera. The, the real deal. So probably the most desirable Porsche uh, ever maybe would be a 73 RS, you yes. think? That's and this perfect. is very close to this car. The only difference is it originally had impact bumpers, but it had the same engine originally. Uh, but that was a long, long time ago. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, there's not much left of the 74 Carrera of this car. Still has carpet in it, but you see a roll bar and seats. I, I guess I'm buying another race car, but in the back is not the 2.7 anymore. No, that is uh, long gone. And you did this, right? I, did, I, I mean, didn't do it myself, but uh, I had someone do this. Right. Yes. Back when this car was, well, not worth a whole lot. Yeah. And the, this engine was not worth a whole lot. You put them together, which this is a 930 turbo motor. And I've always wanted a 930 turbo. Uh, this is the hoopty version of it, the closest I'm ever going to get. But it's in a car that's actually very special because this is a real orange Yes. 74 Same Carrera. Orange. Yes, real. Real with a 930 turbo engine. a real engine. 930 turbo engine, yes. Not just a three liter that they turboed. <laughs> and not an LS. LS. <laughs> no, this is not LS swap, nor, nor it better never. <laughs> but when it does run, it doesn't run right. No, it's just running too rich. It's just not, all the mixtures are off. I Wait. mean, really, that's all your, all you need is that. Transmission, paint, interior. Transmission's bad. It's not uh, bad, it's just not good. Can we try and start it? I think it flooded from the drive home. That's what Steven said it was going to do, was flood with it running so rich. Well, it's not going to stay flooded for six months. Look at all that smoke coming out of these. Mm -hmm. It's just rolling out. Well, that was a lot of smoke and not very much action. Sorry. I mean, I've been trying to buy this thing from you for years, and it's because it, the longer it sits, the worse it's going to get, you know? That's what I've been, been dealing with. This is really tough for me. I mean, I've had this car a long time. This car... This car's kind of my identity. I mean, it really is. I've been known around town with this car since you're, I was in my 20s. You're wearing the hood. Well, see, that's the uh, pre bumper. This, do you want this too? I mean, I, no, I, I can I show you the goodness I, that comes underneath I, this. I don't you want, want the shirt off your back. All right, I didn't think so. But I, I'm glad you're selling it to me, but it comes with, uh, it's kind of like a, you have, in order to buy this, you have to buy these, which is really cool. So let's go to the other cars yes, here. You do. This is, yeah, this is my one condition. If you're going to buy this, I'm either doing everything or nothing. Okay. And so these have to go as well. And I, I, uh, a three. And, uh, somehow Tyler has done a wonderful thing of bringing Bob along, um, who wanted this car. But it's a, a 340, what year 348? 94. 94. It has 355 wheels on it, it looks like. It does. And it comes with an extra 355 wheel. Mm. Cool. But actually, the first car that I ever drove, exotic car, was in Las Vegas, rented it by the hour with my dad. It was illegal for me to drive it because I was only 17. It was a 348 convertible like this. There's some amazing photos really? of me, uh, like 120 pounds with a bowl cut in a 348 <laughs> just man. like this. Wow. I mean, it is, there's a lot of wear in this thing and 35,000 miles though, that's not bad. No, and a clean Carfax. I mean, the car is really solid. I found wow. it, it was a uh, one last owner 20 years. Wow. When I found it. And then I may or may not have told Bob that he had first right of refusal if I didn't buy this. Mm. Oh, it's it's uh, dirty. It's yeah, it's very been dirty. sitting a long time. Yeah, it's been sitting, but it is. I mean, it's the real deal, and it's a beautiful car. I uh, I owe Bob an apology. Do you have the keys? I do. Somewhere. Hold on, I got a pile of keys. Here you go. Fire it up. If it doesn't start, you still have to buy it. Oh. Okay. I was just yeah. in gear. Too. Yeah, this is the point where the timing belt goes on crane. In gear and the parking. Wait, yeah, yeah. Work. How long has it been since the timing belt? Uh, five or fifteen years. Oh, really? How long? It doesn't five, start. Uh, it's been five years on the belt. Five thousand miles. Clutch in. I'm driving. It, this it has some kind of exhaust on it, huh? Yeah. Oh, the park. What kind? The parking, parking brake doesn't work. work. Okay. I mean, it's not Capristo, but it sounds. It sounds good. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, Bob. Bob. Why did you bring Bob? He's going to kill me. Why? He's got that look. Like as soon as the camera turns off. <laughs> I know. I know. Have I you have. Seen the documentary on Ted Kaczynski? Yeah, I have. Uh... I'm going for a little thing around the block. 
No. Right, the check engine light is on, but it does seem to be running fine. And Bob is mad. Every time we turn the camera off, uh, a string of expletives come out because he's he's so mad. But uh, oh, we got to string him on a little bit more, for sure. This is really nice. Okay. Well, maybe I do want this for myself. It's not too late. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, this one has more pep than my 90. I think the 90. I think the 94s had more power, right? I don't think they do. I think this is just. I don't know. It runs strong. I mean, it feels quick. I think I might want to keep this one and sell the black one. No, you don't. I think. Please do. I think so. Actually, I don't this know. is not the Ferrari you're looking for. <laughs> I, what, what, this is not the Ferrari you're looking for. I mean, or, for. I really, I mean, it's a totally different experience with the top down as well. So, it is. Yeah. yeah the sound Yeah, this is great. Okay. Uh, cool, cool, cool. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Yeah, parking brake doesn't work. That's just for sure. Oh, oh, that's right. You better pass. Yeah. Yep. You better pass. Oh, I see. I saw you pull away, and I'm like, I got to keep this. See, that my brain just goes to like right. selling this. So then there's the DB9. What year is it? 2006. 2006. And I've never. Miles on it. How many? 25,000. This is not a hoopty. Wow. Yeah, I've seen this car before, obviously, but I've never, like, really looked at it. Yes, it Whoa. Is. Surprisingly fast. It's beautiful. Well, you weren't kidding about your wife and Amazon packages, were no, you? Not at all. That's the second one in, in 20 minutes. Yeah, give it another 10 minutes. There'll Nobody's be 10 more. You, Rob. you probably know her by name. Thank you. This all right. You got the keys to this, Rob? Look, it's even a shelf. Oh, yeah. That was really hard to watch go away. It, really hard. It, it is strong. I've owned it for two days. 25,900 miles. <laughs> What's Bob doing? <laughs> Bob, there's no parking brake here. I don't care. I got Careful. Careful. This one actually has a nice paint job, so. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the one car that's actually... Ah, all right, I'll be back. That's good. You look good in it, Bob. Yeah. Oh. I think I... I think I just bought it. I bottomed it out. But this is... This is a really nice place to be for mid-30s. You know, I had a DB7, and I really love that car. We also bought another DB7 on the Car Issue show uh, that I sold to your nation, Bob, but I've never had a 9. And it has the same later V12, the two Ford Taurus engines put together. Oh, I'll pluck on my seatbelt. But the power on it was awesome, like 420 horsepower in a beautiful GT car. And it not only is it 25,000 miles, but it is in an immaculate shape. But this has got to be way under the money here. Okay, okay, <laughs> this is really exciting action. So, but, uh, Bob, hold on a sec, come, come back here. I don't know, what but uh, I mean, obviously I came here for the Porsche. Yes. And the 348's really exciting. It is. Bob, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, uh, and the DB9 was just kind of an extra that I, I didn't really I care about. I don't know what I'm doing. We'll let honestly. Bob do his thing. Yeah, he's gonna. Uh, yeah, he's gonna. Uh, that's his life. But the DB9 is know. actually really, really nice. The DB9 is beautiful. Yeah, they are. I mean, I don't know. It's just, I felt like this has been such a part of me that I was either gonna get rid of everything and start fresh, or just keep it. And if I keep it, it's gonna get worse and worse. And you know, you've been a friend of mine for a long time, and I know you will give this car the care that it needs. All right. So we're at 38 on this one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. We're at 42 on this one. 42.5. 42.5, so what's the total there? I don't do math. I, me neither. Um, okay, 38,000 on plus that car. 42, plus 42,500, plus, you said 50,000, but how about $49,696? Why? Because. 49,6? Plus 49,696. That's one hundred and thirty thousand one hundred and ninety-six dollars for all three cars. I'm gonna get a Freddy's sandwich for that thirty-one. Yeah, you can have a Freddy's frozen custard and steak burger and a Motor Trend subscription to to Car I will issues. definitely have. All right, that. you have a deal. Please take good care. Of wow. I got him, Bob.
Yeah. Dude, you never had them. <laughs> <laughs> you never had your car? You never had your car. Your deal's done? My deal's done. Your deal's done? Done. done. Yes. 130 for all the cars. How much? I'm keeping this How one. Much? I told you. I'm going to keep the red one. I'm keeping the red one. I, this is just like the first exotic car that I drove. You're not going to keep this car. Uh, go, going back to like when I was a kid in Las Vegas, this is it. So Rob, is Tyler teasing this car? He's not teasing you. If he kept it, I wouldn't be so upset. But I wasn't. You I said, am you keeping said you it. You wanted the car, but you didn't say you definitely wanted. And Bob, when you say you definitely want a car, then I know you want it. Otherwise, I hey, just, what? Yes. What did you just say? I've, I've known you for so many years. When you say I kind of want it. Kind of want it. Kind of. When did I say hey, kind of? Not great, not great, but I definitely want the car. Um, That's did like, I not okay. say, I have a check right now and I'm ready to drive your way? Well, that was a check, but I mean, does it, was oh. it like a cashier's check, a personal oh. check? I mean, those take I've only been in prisons for 30 years. I just, I, we got a Bob, little, we got a little that just let me enjoy my moment here. I mean, <laughs> well, you, so, you called the wrong guy okay. to enjoy your moment well, today. You, did, Bob. you said Bob over here, the guy that I screwed Bob, out of this I car. Mean, well, the, you didn't even hear the phone conversation, Rob. I mean, the, my phone rings. He goes, oh, I just bought these uh, Rob's Porsche. I asked well, him and, and the Ferrari. Like, and he calls me on the phone. Can you help me go get him? And it's just like. I mean, it's my yeah, fault. Okay. It is my fault. I take full responsibility. I, yeah, I know you uh, wanted the car. I guess next time I know for the next, next time. The next 348 uh, I find, I promise. Yeah, yeah. Promise yeah. you will be able to have first right of refusal to that car. I was going to make him drive it home, but I, th I don't think we should continue no. this. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting this, me no, out this, of the car. This, this was a joke. We knew it was, it was yours all along. We just wanted to do it for the video. <laughs> no, you're shitting me. No, this is yours, yes. <laughs> You got it. I'm, I'm buying the DB9 and I'm buying the Porsche, but you I can have this. Pumped. Yes, you did just get pumped. I just got. You guys. Oh, you freaking. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are serious. Yes. Yes. 425 no. is yours. Yes. No. Yes. Yep. Oh, my God. Your face when I said you didn't say you definitely wanted it is just. I mean, price for my submission. Okay, but we're seeing your face looking at me like you were just. <sighs> well, beep. anyway, it's a beautiful car, and I am I am quite jealous. But uh, oh my there was a God. moment there was a moment where I thought, okay, we can just stop this right now, and it can just be mine, and the whole video can just be <laughs> mine. Thinking, and I I, I can it. I can I edit out the whole intro yes, of me it. setting up Bob, but then you know and it would have been fine because I mean I wouldn't have known the difference. So should we take oh our my. prizes home, Bob? I guess I'll come back for the the Porsche later. You don't have to probably get a, want to. I, I will. But so forty nine thousand six hundred and ninety six dollars, right? Yes. Okay. All right. And then that for thirty eighth. More than you could afford, pal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so with these cars, you're kind of not really the owner, but the curator. And you kept this car. Well, I mean, obviously it sat a lot and yeah. it has its issues, but you're a big part of the story, and I'm very excited to take the ball from you and continue it and make this into something. Well, it's already something really special, but even more special. I so trust you thank well. you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, it needs. It needs a lot, but I mean, it's all there, but that doesn't really need anything. And it's a beautiful car. It is. So I guess I'll, I'll take that home. And Bob, you want to follow me in the 348? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't say. Congratulations. Yeah. Your first... My weekend plans have completely changed. <laughs> Everything before is gone. The rest of this whole weekend is behind the wheel of this car. I, well, the belts haven't been done in who knows how long. I would be careful with it. Eh. All I would say. While you were driving the DB9, I told Bob that you were going to put this on Cars and Biz, and his face just, he went straight I got straight as red as the car. I it just like, tomato. I just about went a tomato. Right. so great. Well, first drive, Bob. My first drive in this, and uh, let's, let's head back to the house, thing. huh? Yeah, wow. maybe. I would say you're a good sport, Bob, but... <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm a little discombobulated. First ride. Oh, wow. This is nice. This is way, way nice. <laughs> this thing really moves too. <laughs> I didn't expect to like this car as much as I do, but it is very comfortable, very nice touring car. Right onto South 119th Street West. That 348. Oh, I should have kept it. I love the wax on the side tricks there. Oh, that sounds really, really good. Really good. I mean, I kind of get why people poo-poo the EV7, even though I love that. It's like an A70's Jaguar platform and a parts bin special. But this one, this is a much more special feeling car. Look at this. Just, just gorgeous. <laughs> Bob's really happy.
<laughs> that was sort of a mean thing to do to Bob. But it makes me happy to see him happy. And the fact that he had to sweat a little bit for it. <laughs> Let's get home and see what he thinks. But man, this is cool. So is it everything you ever wanted oh, it to be? Oh man, it's freaking amazing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> just, oh, I'm still a little stunned. <laughs> Yeah, for once I might be uh, at a loss of words, and that's not that's saying a lot. All right, well, we'll fetch the Porsche, I guess, in the next video and figure out what the heck we're going to do with it. Maybe it'll start, maybe not. Bob, I might need your help on that. Uh, are you on fire? No, I'm just in your parking lot, so oh. I'm always nervous when I get my cars around the Hoopy well, headquarters. I'm sure it'll be leaking <laughs> It's uh, not leaking, which is something. There's a little... Uh, yeah, that's, that's not supposed to be like that, but very nice car, Bob. Not complaining. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm very surprised by the DB9. That Porsche, though, I'll have to go back with the battery. Maybe it'll start. But so many possibilities with that car. It's like a blank canvas, only it's, well, it's, it's orange. It's, a, it's an orange blank canvas. It's a good starting spot. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we're both a little delirious. So thank you for watching. <laughs>